everyone. Welcome to our session on Natural Agriculture in Japan, Restoring Biodiversity and Seed Saving. My name is Alice Cunningham. I'm with Shumei International. First, I'd like to thank Oxford Real, Conference Farm, Oxford Real Farming Conference to invite us back to this important gathering. And we were very, very honored to perform our Shumei Taiko Ensemble during the opening plenary. Today, I'm joining you from our headquarters in Shiga Prefecture, Japan. We are surrounded by the nature preserve area by forest, creeks, and uh, valley. We promote appreciation of art and beauty, spirituality, and natural agriculture, a way of farming in harmony with nature. We have a large network of farmers nationwide and internationally. Our farmers practice natural agriculture, a way of producing wholesome food without adding any external inputs, such as fertilizers or manure, including the organic one. And then it also does not use any agrochemicals like pesticides, herbicides, or insecticides. But natural agriculture is not just an approach of farming, but it is a way of life which empowers farmers and consumers to connect deeply to nature and support the sustainable food system. Today's session, we will cover on those, these both effect points and we will explore, explore the technical aspect of natural agriculture and then how it supports biodiversities. We will first take you to the virtual tour of our demonstration farm it is called Shigaraki no Sato in here in Shiga. And then also in this video, we will feature uh, farmers who practice natural agriculture through, and then also do the biodiversity uh, through rice paddy conservations. We will have a Q&A session towards the end. So if you have, please uh, submit the, your questions at the ask a questions functions later. And then, before the video, I'd like to introduce two of our uh, natural agriculture farmers, um, Kenji Sakai and Momoko Shiraki. Kenji manages the Shigaraki no Sato, our demonstration farm, and he has done the extensive research on the biodiversity. He will be sharing with us about the, this research project. And Momoko, a young female farmer, will actually talk about her passion of the Shume Natural Agriculture, and then her role to actually um, um, encourage more young farmers, young women especially, to join the farming. So first, let me take you to a virtual tour of farms. Natural agriculture is a holistic approach to farming based on an overriding respect for nature that is being practiced by thousands of farmers across Japan. Shumei Natural Agriculture is helping to restore biodiversity and seed saving in a way that enables farmers and ecosystems to thrive. Shumei has a natural agriculture demonstration farm in Shiga Prefecture, which is a forest covered area and also home to Biwa Lake, Japan's largest freshwater lake. In the past, many inhabitants of the area were small scale rice farmers. Through their traditional farming, the rice paddies, the lake, and the forest existed harmoniously. However, small-scale farming has been on the decline, resulting in a loss of cultural and agricultural heritage, as well as biodiversity. Shumi's demonstration farm called Shigaraki no Sato showcases natural agriculture as a way of cultivating wholesome food with pure seeds, without the use of any fertilizers, chemicals, or external inputs. People can see how natural agriculture maintains balance in the ecosystems and reconnects us to the beauty and nature. Shigaraki no Sato also serves as farmer training center. At Shigaraki no Sato, we cultivate vegetables, fruit, and rice while taking care of the surrounding forests. We trim and thin the trees to allow the sun to reach the forest floor, which encourages growth of indigenous plants and allows smaller creatures to thrive which promotes biodiversity. In Japan, we refer to this as Satoyama, which is a holistic approach to land management, 
which takes into consideration entire landscapes to create harmonious human-nature relationships. The philosophy of natural agriculture sees nature as perfect. We trust the inherent power of the soil to regenerate its productive capacity to produce healthy crops. We believe that additives compromise the soil's innate energy and weaken the plant's natural resilience. Shigaraki no Sato caught the attention of one of Japan's leading researchers on biodiversity who conducted studies on natural agricultural rice paddies. Konnichiwa, Sakai Kenji desu. Shigaraki no Sato no Shume Shizen no Ho no Suiden de Tambo no Ikimono Chosa o Shimashita. Siruto, Nihon o Dai Hyo Siru, Seibu Tai o Se no Takai Suiden de Arukoto ga wakarimashita. Researchers especially noted the presence of red dragonfly larvae and Japanese honeybees, key indicators of a healthy ecosystem. We plant in accordance with the natural cycles, which support the life cycles of the creature that are ingenious to the area. Our soil also has much greater microbial diversity, and researchers determined that natural agriculture rice paddy water purity level is much higher. Natural agriculture also helps to preserve food biodiversity through seed saving. At the annual harvest festival, farmers come together to celebrate the wide variety of native heirloom seeds saved each year. Natural agriculture has immense benefits for the environment and for the people who practice it as a way of life. It teaches us to connect to the natural rhythms of nature with gratitude and respect. It is very special to have these traditional Japanese farmhouses, kominkas, at Shigaraki no Sato. They are a rich cultural reminder of how our ancestors respected and appreciated nature. This aspect of our cultural heritage is something we integrate into our everyday life. Natural agriculture is more than a way of farming. It is a way of living in harmony with nature that emphasizes the interconnection between human beings and the natural world. Konnichiwa, Ikeusu Sachio desu. Musume no Shiraki Momoko desu. Kore kara hojo o annai shimasu. Kuchira ga watashi tachi no tambo desu. Zenpu de gocha o hodo arimasu. Watashi wa motomoto nouka ni naritaku nakatta n desu. Demo, shume shizen nouho o hajimete. お米に命が宿る瞬間を見ることができて、自然の美しさを実感しました。作物を収穫し、一緒に調理をして美味しくいただくことで、自然の恵みに感謝することができます。こういう活動が地球のためになっているということを若い方々に分かってもらえたらと
I am a farmer. I work with farmers of Shume Natural Agriculture Network in Japan. I grew up the countryside surrounded by rice paddy. During my child, I had a lot of the fun catching small insects and animals like dragonfly and frog, lot of frog. But nobody you barely find any of the, these small creatures in the rice paddy. However, with natural agriculture, we have find many creatures return to the rice paddy. Let me start by telling you about Shigaraki no Sato. I work. Then our team will showcase research that was done on the biodiversity on the farm. Please. Shigaraki no Sato is a model farm of a traditional Japanese farming village, which is located near Kyoto City in Japan. In ancient times, they used a method called Satoyama, where people took care of the mountains and forests to maintain a healthy ecosystem in their farmlands. Satoyama is a sustainable environment where people have lived in perfect harmony with nature. Traditionally, there are rivers, ponds, groves, and grasslands that provide an environment where a wide variety of creatures can coexist. For more than 20 years, we have been practicing natural agriculture on our farm in Shigaraki no Sato, which produces 50 different kinds of vegetables. Natural agriculture is a farming method that does not rely on chemicals, fertilizers, or manure to respect the natural power of Mother Earth. A crucial part of natural agriculture is seed saving. We save native varieties of seeds and practice continuous cropping which is planting every year without a period of rest. This allows the seed to adapt to the environment so it can grow to become stronger, healthier, and tastier. In other words, the natural agriculture crops can protect themselves against diseases and pests, which would normally wipe them out. This allows them to pass on life to the next generation of seeds. 10 years ago, we initiated the Shume Living Organisms Research and Study. We studied insects and other wildlife in our rice fields with experts and local students, finding a variety of species living in the rice fields. In just three hours, <coughs> our team collected about 100 different species Eight of the organisms and six, six of the plants discovered are listed among the endangered species group. The University of Shiga Prefecture and the Kyoto University Graduate School of Global Environmental Studies evaluated the data. They concluded that we have one of the richest and most biologically diverse farms in Japan. In 2017, Lake Biwa Museum display the species found from our research, which is still showcased there. Integrating pesticides and other agrochemicals would kill not only the pests, but also the beneficial insects too. The natural landscape with mountains, forests, rivers, and ponds provides an environment for a wide variety of species to live. We value a diverse environment to protect local species and ecosystems. For example, honeybees 
they have an extremely important role in plants' pollination. However, recently they have been gradually decreasing year by year. Yet, we see many of them in our farm. The Japanese monsoon climate is suitable for growing rice. Each spring, the flooded fields will store water, making the place suitable for living organisms. However, today we do not see farmers applying natural cycles as much as we used to. They plant rice a month ahead of the rainy season, apply fertilizers to the soil, and they drain water from rice field to expose their roots to the air. This drying process kills creatures, such as tadpoles and dragonfly nymphs, which have been decreasing in Japan. On the other hand, natural agriculture follows the rhythm of nature, where planting is put off until the rainy season starts. Following the natural order, of things will allow for an environment to be adaptable for frogs and other living organisms. Natural agriculture soil has diverse microorganisms. The DGC Technology Incorporation is known for its soil biodiversity research. In the year 2000, the research concluded diverse and active soil could lower the risk for crops to catch diseases. We sent Shume natural agriculture soil samples to be analyzed how diverse and active it was. The picture shown is the test result. Each hole in the plate contains organic matter. White becomes purple if microbes eat them. More colors indicate more dynamic activity in the soil. The data shows the natural agriculture is more than twice as diverse and active as conventional soil. It is important to note that we are interconnected with nature. And the biodiversity of the soil helps sustain our health and the health of our farmlands. Here are some benefits of having rich biodiversity in farmlands. We conducted research on the frogs that live in the rice field and learned that 65% of their diet consists of harmful insects for rice. This is a picture of natural agriculture rice paddies. You may notice that there are many white spider webs covered in dew. Spiders eat pests in order to protect farmlands. Therefore, natural agriculture farmers do not need to apply any chemicals to kill pests. Many parts of the world were affected from the desert locusts last year, causing serious damage to crops. In Japan, rice paddies suffered from brown plant hopper, which came from other parts of Asia. This picture shows the damage that they, that they can cause to rice paddy fields. Outlined in red, you can see that there was no damage found in natural agricultural rice paddies. This shows you how resilient plants can be when cultivated through natural agriculture. Answer to many of the problems we are facing can be found from observing creatures in the soil. Let's pay attention to the creatures. I believe natural agriculture is farming that can make Mother Earth healthy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kenji, for your um, uh, sharing. Uh, thank you for sharing your work and the research. And now I'd like to uh, interview Momoko. Uh, she is the young female farmer. Farmer. Uh, she has been working with other young female farm farmers to um, uh, 
uh, sort of encourage the women to join the agriculture. Uh, so Momoko, could you first introduce yourself, please? Okay. Hello, my name is Momoko Shiraki, and I am a small-scale family farmer in Japan. Uh, I grow Japanese rice with my mother on our five-hectare farm. This is my rice, uh, my mom and me. <laughs> I didn't like farming in the beginning. My mother took over her family farm when she was only 22 years old. Her family was practicing conventional farming. When she started using the pesticide, uh, she had an allergic reaction and her face got uh, swollen. This made her change the method of farming from conventional to natural agriculture. My father passed away uh, from cancer when I was uh, 11 years old. My mother raised all three of us, my, mother, uh, my brother and sister and me by herself. I decided to help her and started uh, farming 10 years ago. Today, I am excited to be a natural agriculture farmer and it is my passion to share the beauty of farming with others. As a food coordinator in Japan, it is my joy to cook with natural agriculture ingredients and serve dishes to share the gift of nature, especially with young people who have lost this connection to the earth. I am also the founder of Shiga uh, 100 Women Farmers Project in Japan to inspire and encourage a new, new generation of farmers as a rewarding and important vocation. I am very honored to be speaking to you at this Oxford Real Farming Conference. Thank you, Momoko. Um, I will be asking her questions in English, but uh, she, since she's, um, she's, um, English is not her native tongue, um, I, she was going to probably answer in Japanese, and I will try to translate that as much as I could. Okay, first I'd like to ask questions about uh, food coordinator. I think this is a, some unique uh, special career in Japan. Can you tell us more about what this um, food coordinator uh, you know, position entails? え、フードコーディネーターとは、え、食の開発や演出をする仕事です。具体的には商品のマーケティングやエスピ開発、あとイベントやパーティーなどで、え、ケータリングを依頼されることもあります。これまでにたくさんのレシピを、え、考えてき
10年自然農法をしてみて一番変わったのは私の気持ちだと思います母の農業やお米に対する気持ちをそばで感じまして私自身もお米に命が宿る瞬間を見た時にきついっていう以上に自然農法に魅力があるということを実感しました。今では美しい景色に囲まれながら自然農法の美に触れてとても幸せな生活を送っています。Great. Okay, so I guess while she was working as a food coordinator,、um, she was once asked that the, where all these、um, ingredients come from, and then she had no idea where it was coming from. So that's sort of like、uh, the start of that she really wanted to know how the food's been grown. And then, so she asked her mother to teach her the agriculture、uh, in a professional way. So that's how she got into the、um, farming about 10 years ago. But her image of farming back then was not that great because, she, like she said in the beginning, she wasn't really into farming. And then, her image of farming, especially this is not only her, but she says most of the ja- young Japanese、uh, people t h i n k s farming as a Uh, dangerous or tough or dirty, so the image wasn't great. However, after she p r a c t i c i n g natural agriculture for 10 years, she, as she said her idea towards farming has drastically changed. Because, first of all, she said she is, whenever she's in the field, she's really surrounded by the beauty, and which actually calms her down, and then she's very feel great about that. Also, Uh, witnessing her mother's、uh, in putting all so much love and care into the, each crop,、um, that really、um, touched her and inspired her. So now she feels very grateful and rewarding to be working in the rice paddies and then growing all these uh, uh, crops because she feels she's part of this beautiful growth and then also she's、um, in a part of this nature. So she feels that agriculture is a pure beauty. Wonderful. Okay,、um, I want to ask about this,、um, the situation in Japan and the farming, because、um, I think this is probably similar in many of the developed countries. But、uh, in Japan, six out of ten people, ten farmers, are over 65 years old. So the, the age of the farmers are getting older and older. So encouraging the young people to,、uh, um, to enter the farming agriculture is a challenge. So, what is your idea? How do you、um, think you can, interest,、um, you can make these young people interested in agriculture?、Okay. はいえー、最近では食に対してすごく意識の高い方が増えてきていますが、えー、と若い人の間ではまだまだそうではなくて、えー、と食材がどこから来たかというかいうのそういうのを知らない方がまだまだたくさんいます。やっぱり食育っていうのは重要でまずは体に良いもの悪いものがどういうものなのかを知ってもらって、えー、農業の素晴らしさを食を通して感じていただけたらいいなというふうに思いますあとその他にはいまだに農業に対するイメージがとても悪くて、えー、と先ほども言ったようにあまりあの大変だとか儲からないとかいうイメージが強いんですけども農業はかっこよくて。あとやりがいのあるとても素晴らしい仕事だということをもっと私自身も発信していけたらと思いますあと私のしている自然農法は自然をよく観察してあと自然から学ぶ農法ですただ農業をしているのだけではなくて、えー、環境のことにも配慮する農法で地球の未来のためにはとても重要なことだと思います自分のことばかりを考えていて農業をしているだけでは多分長続きはしないと思いますそれに清らかな食材とかお米を求めている消費者の方がたくさんいらっしゃってその方たちが待ってくださっていると思うと私自身も本当に励みになりますし頑張ることができますそういうことをあの若い方々にも本当に環境のことや食のことあと地球のことを考えていただけるきっかけ作りをもっとしていけたらなというふうに思っています。Great, thank you. So she said that she thinks the,、um, it's true that the more and more young people are started to become aware of the quality food, it is still the majority of the, the young people、um, having poor diet, she feels. Especially、uh, here in Japan, a lot of people are eating processed food and then、um, not really a healthy diet. So, she really wants to introduce healthy, quality food to these young、uh, people. 
and also uh, realizing um, that how you know um, how much care is going into these crops um, when you, when you consume them. Um, also, the I think the taste. Um, so a lot of people, you know, uh, without really realizing what the real taste of the crops, and then by really having the quality vegetables and quality fruit, that they will know exactly what they should taste like, and then people should know what it's, um, the, you know, um, how much care and love the farmers has put in. She thinks um, she wants to change the image of the farming to like the farming is cool. It's something that is fun, and then most of it that she realizes many young people nowadays uh, care about the environment and climate change and, and the global warming. So very conscious about what's happening in our environment. And then certainly natural agriculture, you observe nature more and then you are more aware and conscious about your surrounding. So by observing nature, you respect what's happening in the, in, uh, in the environment and you also respect the natural rhythm. So by doing so, you, re you started to realize what should be the right move to make and then how are the things that you can do to be more sustainable and regenerative way of farming, not only farming, but how you should live based on uh, um, the natural agriculture. And then she, so she feels that uh, if you know, if you're only growing food for your self-interest, that she doesn't think it's going to be a brighter future for it. But the rather, when we all put our care and then uh, we want to contribute to the society and then try to do good for the planet, then uh, she thinks that more young people will feel rewarded and it's probably um, encouraged to be part of it as a big movement. I think that's a wonderful way to uh, <laughs> answer. Okay. Um, First, uh, okay, one more thing I wanted to ask is um, um, you said something about this 100 Shiga Women Farmers Project. Um, so if you could elaborate more about what is this project is about. Yes. え、あと新規就農者が現れた時に滋賀県で滋賀農業女子100人プロジェクトがいてくれるから安心して農業ができるというふうに思ってもらえたらと思っています。Great. So I guess in, in general in Japan there are very few women farmers. But luckily in Shiga with uh, Momoko farms, there she found quite a few uh, young female farmers who moved to this area to start the farming. So in the beginning, she thought that she just wanted to have some sort of a network so that they can exchange the information and then they can support each other. But as she started this little network, more and more uh, women started joining. And then one of them says, well, you know, we need to probably invite all these interesting people and people with have a good cause so that, you know, by doing so, they can provide the better service and then they can um, uh, uh, contribute to the society and then the community. And then by doing so, they felt like they can revive uh, the community, especially the countryside where there's very few young people um, uh, gathering. So by do, now they feel that it's that this network has become quite popular. The people knows that by coming over here, if you wanted to start the farming, you have this uh, support system because it's um, there's uh, so many uh, male uh, dominated the groups that they can uh, support the farmers. But sometimes the women feel very uh, hesitant to join those groups. 
but by having this 100 women farmers project, uh, many female farmers feel um, uh, comfortable and then they feel like they have a great support of team, team, um, team, of, team of people that who can support them and get started with the farming. Great. Okay, so you know that this is uh, the, um, the, the real farming conference. So um, I like to ask you, what is the real farming to you, Momoko? Okay. For me, uh, farming is really about caring. It is the emotional element of what we do. Uh, real farming is about real, uh, caring about the soil, plants, the animals, and uh, having a level of concern for nature beyond uh, technical aspect. Uh, I feel that real farming is uh, making people and planet happy, putting our love and care into our farm. Thank you. Great. Okay, well, wonderful message. But maybe um, uh, if you have any other message you'd like to share with other women or other young people who's probably interested in joining farming. Okay, um, let me read my message. Uh, I want people to know how amazing farming is and that it, it is fun. Uh, farming changed my life and it's made me so much happier than I could have ever imagined. I want everyone to think back to the basics. Back in the days, people never called anyone a consumer or a producer. We all grew what we ate, being self-sufficient, connected to nature and surrounded by beauty enriches our lives. I would encourage anyone interested in nature to try farming or gardening. Just get your hands dirty. Thank you. Thank you, Momoko. <laughs> wonderful. Uh, wonderful for sharing your experience. Um, I think we all have a hope, I think, especially here in Japan, that, that there are so many young people, I'm sure, will be encouraged by <laughs> your message, and hopefully more and more young people are getting into the agriculture. Um, so now I think we can take some questions from the audience. Um, so let's see. Um, okay. Following the natural cycles um, um, uh, is fine, but okay. So what, uh, what about the weather because of the climate change? Um, so I guess what we think about the climate change. Um, would you, any of you like to answer? Well, I think before I ask your questions, maybe um, your answers, um, I think it's, uh, you know, natural agriculture really make you conscious about the climate, I think. Because, um, and then also uh, I learned from the, some of the farmers that, that they said, by really observing nature, you uh, understand the balance. So if whenever there's a balance is off, that's when we have uh, disruptions in the cycles and then, and then like a desertification and all that. So I think it's important to realize where the roots causes all these climate change or any drastic changes in the weather pattern. And then sometimes by doing something simple, like really uh, reviving the biodiversity could actually change the, the, you know, the weather or the climate itself. So, but uh, maybe let me ask Kenji first, uh, no, please. <laughs> ま、昔からそこにいる在来種の種を取るということもすごい大事なことで、ま、体が健全になり種を取るという両方のすることによって気候変動にも対応ができているのを言います。I see. So the Kenji's answer is not, not about the, um, really um, what, is, what is causing the climate change, but I guess it's more like the, uh, the solutions to these climate changes. 
he's saying that uh, by practicing natural agriculture, first of all, because we don't add any fertilizers, the root system goes deeper. Um, and then so the, the crops becomes much, much healthier and then stronger because they're not dependent on anything else. And then plus, uh, because of the seed saving that the, you know, and then we uh, save seeds, the variety, local varieties of the seed, those seeds has memory. So it will adapt and then remember the, so that they have the adaptability to the, the particular locations and region. So by both the seeds and soil working together, they can adapt to more changes in the, you know, the, of the climate. So there's, therefore, um, he feels that even though, like in Japan, they're witnessing, um, you know, the uh, changes in the climate, they seem to feel that their um, natural agriculture crops has withstood most of these climate changes, and then they are able to still produce the yield. Uh, Momoko, would you like to say something too? Ah, hi. I know, Nihongo de. I don't. So, ma, Kenji san to, I know, ni jere tokoro mo arun desu kedo mo. えっと、そもそもあの、人間は、あの、先ほども言った昔に変えられないとこれからもどんどん気候変動の原因にもなるなるっていうことをすごく感じてますし、実際農家としても本当に気候が激しく変わってきたのはそもそもは人間の原因だっていうふうにあの思ってます。So Momoko feels that uh, um, by really following the natural rhythm, we're because she feels not all of it, but of course the the some some and the majority of the reasons that the uh, the climate or the change is happening is because we, uh, human, has disrupted the natural cycle to begin with. So by following the natural rhythm, some of them can remedy by that. So that's what's very important. Okay, the next, uh, next question is, um, uh, can you tell me more about the absence of rotation in Japanese system and the maintenance of fertility? Oh, uh, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't see. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get, sorry, I'm trying to get the questions. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, maintenance. Okay, so they're saying, can you tell me more about the absence of rotation in Japanese system and the maintenance of fertility and how that may be applied to agroecological system? So, なんか林作しないことで肥沃さを維持することについて詳しく教えてください。またこれはどうの業の生態研究影響しますか。なるほどね。はい。ケンジ。オッケー。どうぞ。日本語でどうぞ。いいです。ま、連作ということがま、一つ
I'm not quite sure that if he answered all all, all the um, uh, questions, but the, I think at the, all, all the part of the questions. But the, what he was saying is one thing is about even though we do not um, uh, we don't do the rotation, uh, we, we you know um, crop actually we. Um, the natural agriculture does um, uh, continuous cropping, so they don't rotate. But by doing so, he feels that uh, it actually uh, makes the, uh, the soil more rich and they're more fertile. And so that's why it actually helps the ecosystem more because cultivating in, uh, is actually might disrupt the uh, microorganism in the soil and then that may actually affect the, the fertility of the soil. Therefore, he feels um, by having the local varieties of seed and then by saving the seeds and then adapting the seeds both and the, uh, the soil to that particular region will actually make uh, them more ecological and then I guess it's uh, more friendly to that, that, that ecosystem. Um, Okay, so there, the, another question is more, many people in Japan live in huge cities and somewhat removed from nature, one assumes. What outreach do they have or intend to have to pass on their message to young urban residents? And I'll ask Momoko first. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
we, uh, we can uh, provide the, the, um, the, the classes or the area for the, you know, the kids to come in so that they can actually experience the, the rice paddies, the like rice planting and all that, or even come in to um, uh, be part of this uh, biodiversity uh, research. And then most of these kids are city kids. And then when they come over, they actually enjoy looking at all these different creatures and different insects. And then they feel more connected to nature. So he thinks the key is to educate the young people. Just like Momoko is saying the food education is important, Kenji is saying by educating these kids and then introduce them to these natural surroundings early on, then that will be the probably key for a lot of the, uh, so that they can influence their parents. And then that will be that more and more people will be interested in uh, working uh, with, you know, and then try to live more sustainably. I think we are getting close to the time. So uh, we could actually continue on this on the Zoom. So I think uh, in the chat room, I believe there's a link for the Zoom. But I will continue to answer more, a few more questions. Uh, but I think you can check the Zoom link on the chat box, I hope. <laughs> my, my technical person I mean, will be hopefully doing that. Uh, I know that I know, Tambo-ni-metan-gas-ga-ha-se-suru-n-ja-nai-desu-ka-te-so-na-te-yu-na-shitsumon-ga-arimashita-ke-do-so-re-ni-tsui-te-kotae-rare-masu. Okay, uh, there was actually a question that I saw that's like uh, the, the rice paddy actually produced more methane uh, gas. So maybe I'll ask Kenji about that. まあ、確かに農業というのはメタンガスを発生するということで、ま、注目を受けているわけですけども、自然の方では肥料を使いませんから、土の中が酸欠になりにくいです。で、そういう肥料を使うと土の中が急に酸素を使って酸素がなくなるので酸欠の中で有機物が分解すると、いろんなガスが出るわけですけども、自然の方ではそういうものを使わないので、普通の農業よりははるかにガスが出にくいですし、メタンガスを食べる細菌がたくさん田んぼの中